Hi, this is Luke Raymond from Inaxis Security Systems. Today we're going to look at one of the brand new items that Ajax just launched, which is the Life Quality Sensor. These sensors are available in either white or in black and are currently in stock here at Inaxis. Let's take a look at it. To start with, the Life Quality Sensor is part of the smart home solutions that Ajax offers and is directly uh, tied to the life quality of a person's home. It's designed to not just measure you know, the temperature and the humidity, but also how much uh, oxygen is in the air versus um, parts per million of CO2. So the goal is to keep the quality of your air good uh, and healthy so that you are able to continue to function in a normal manner. Part of this is that the more oxygen that's in the air, the more your brain can function, obviously. If ever you've been in a meeting or in a room and you see people start to get drowsy, start to fall asleep, or if ever you've been in a training session and people are actually falling asleep, well, this is because the level of oxygen is actually decreasing in the air. As we inhale the oxygen and exhale uh, the carbon dioxide, um, the quality of the air reduces, and that's when people start getting drowsy. So we're going to learn this product into the new hub, and then we're going to look at exactly what it shows. To begin, open up your Ajax app. Once the Ajax app is opened, it's going to open to the home page of whatever alarm system you have. You then go into the devices section. In the devices section, when you scroll down, it's going to ask you to add a device. When you add a device, it is going to ask you for the name. In this case, I'm going to name this Life Quality Sensor. I then click on the QR code, and on the back of the sensor, the life quality sensor, there's going to be a little piece here which allows it to attach to the wall. You take that off and you learn in via the QR code. Once you learn it into the QR code, it's going to ask you which partition you want to add it to. I'm going to add it to the living room, and I simply add the device. It then asks me to turn on the device, so I push, just as the image is showing you, the power on the back. Once I turn the power on the back on, it sees it and it says OK. I have now learned in this life quality sensor. Once your device has been learned in, it takes a minute or two to sync to the panel. It's going to have a message that says receiving data. Once you've received the data, you can click on the item and automatically it's going to show you the humidity, currently at 45.6%. The temperature in this room is currently 23.4 degrees Celsius, and the CO level is actually 748 parts per million. These are all acceptable levels and actually means the quality of the air in this room is quite good. When I click on the upper right hand corner, which is the programming, I can then set the, uh, the air monitoring settings. For example, in the CO level, I can click on the CO level and say currently it's going to fall into alarm if ever the uh, CO2 level goes above 1,000 parts per million. And I can change this as need be. And as you can see, as I increase the level, it's going to increase the type of alarm it is. At 1,000 parts per million, the air quality is still good, but is on the verge of getting to be um, a little bit worse, as in people start getting drowsy, uh, our thought processes are reduced. And as you can see, as you start to get into the yellow section, for example, at about 1200, 13, 1,250 parts per million or above 1,200 parts per million, all of a sudden it goes into yellow. What this means is that the air quality isn't as good, so that's when you start to see people get drowsy. Above about 14 parts per million, all of a sudden it turns red. This is the danger zone, because if it gets too high and it turns purple, this is actually dangerous for people's health. So I set the alarm at 1,000 parts per million. As you can see, learning life quality sensor into your uh, hub is quite easy. Um, not only do you see on the app the quality of the air, it gives you the parts per million, shows you if it's an alarm, shows you if it's gone above the threshold you've set, but you physically have access to be able to see this on the, the sensor itself. By pushing on the top, it's going to light up. As you can see, this one just light up green, which means I currently am below 1,000 parts per million. If you click on it and it turns yellow, you automatically visually have a notification that it's above the 1,200 parts per million or the 1,000 parts per million level. If ever it's red, you know you're in danger, and if it's purple, you might be dead. I'm just kidding. But the reality is you have a visual verification of whether or not it's good. 
Now, what's cool about this sensor and very, very unique is that you actually don't need it to be permanently connected to a panel. Now, why is this useful? The ability to take this sensor, put it into a room independently of a panel, leave it there for a day or two, come back and get it, is there. What happens is the, uh, the sensor itself can be independent for up to a three-day period, collecting data in a room. So if I wanted to test whether or not the quality of my son's classroom, the quality of the air is good, uh, it's very easy for me to do so. I simply take this, put it on a desk for a day or two, maybe three days, come back and pick it up. As I bring it back closer to my hub, it downloads the information of the last two to three days directly into the hub and can give me a graphical user interface of exactly the quality of the air through these one, two, or three day periods, allowing me to very quickly assess at what times of the day is the quality of the air good versus bad. If you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, here at Inaxis, we've got these products, both black and white in stock. We're more than happy to give you a hand. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and we'll reach out. Cheers.